What's up guys? Sunday. I hope everybody remembered to put their clocks ahead in one hour. Um, compress it. I think I got it worked out. I took it all apart again. And um, I took some emery cloth. I tried using my, uh, my honing tool but it was too big. It wouldn't go in the bars so I took some emery cloth. But my old neighbor who's an old timer and um, he used to show me things when I was a kid and he was a very smart man and he used to build all kinds of motors and stuff and he would actually get things to work that would were deemed unworkable so uh, he showed me to scuff up how to scuff up a cylinder bore not go crazy with it and uh, I did that um, I rebent those reed valves and I took a razor blade and I sort of just ran it along the top of the valve seat because they were kind of like pitted and uh, I got them to go flat, well get a more flat surface on it with the razor blade, it is an aluminum plate so it's soft. Um, bent the reed valves, put them back on, um, I actually scuffed up the bores, put it all back together, and then I forgot the bottom gasket, and this thing was clanking. So I shut it off, took it all back apart, put the gasket back in, and uh, started it up and this thing chugs now it's like back the way it was it used to be but I'm still gonna try to find the uh, if I can get this valve plate uh, even if it's a spare you know and maybe some rings for it re-ring it um, and see what that costs I mean if it's cheaper than going out and getting a pump then I'm gonna go that route I really like the compressor and like I was telling Doug I picked this this those tanks that welder, and I got a little like a three foot uh, metal brake, bench top brake. I picked them up for like 200 bucks, so it was a score. Unfortunately, it was a bad circumstance for the person that was selling them, but I mean, it's neither here nor there. Okay, we got this all done too. Um, it's kind of looking like a John Kerry day out there. It's beautiful out. All the stuff's melting. I've been kicking it out onto the street as much as I can, get it to melt quicker. We had a problem with the Dodge brakes. Blew a line, had to fix that. It's all bled and nice now. Um, ground this down, get some tools out of here. Now we're ready for third glass. About the best I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, uh, it's about the best I'm gonna get this, um, this panel here. Um, see if we can flip her over. We got this all plug weld in, it's nice and tight. That, a matter of fact, uh, where the coverage was, I kind of bent it down. You can see the profile. Yeah. So I got it, all right, decent looking. Um, okay, that's it. That's what we're looking at, fellas. There's a little bit of a crown where the two panels meet. And I beat it down a bit, now I'm just gonna fill it with Duraglass. So I wanna sand all this, uh, EDP coating. Um, I didn't try it with the lack of thinner to see if it was painted on, if it was actually um, coated the way it's. They usually do it, but uh, I'm just gonna scratch it off. We hit this mod glass, Dura glass, and uh, we'll call this a day. It's a Sunday. Tomorrow's work. I got a whole bunch of stuff done. I'm really stoked on the compressor. And once again, I thank you guys for helping me out. And. Um, there's a lot of encouraging comments on just taking it apart and trying to get it fixed. And uh, I was already ready to throw it in the in the dumpster and just go buy a, go buy a pump. But these guys persuaded me otherwise, and uh, it worked out. So cool, very happy. So Mark from the second gen, a little Sunday update. We got the uh, metal work just about done on this fender. Now it's uh, it's fill and prime and. Uh, and uh, we'll start working on the front valance. So I'm getting all these pots done so I can bolt them onto Bubba. I gotta go get the subframe up in the chicken farm. We gotta either I gotta bring this car up there or he's gonna bring the frame down on a on a trailer. And we're gonna bolt them up and turn them into a roller. Then uh, then I'll stop doing all the body work. Aside from one door skin that I have to purchase, but money talks and bullshit walks. So, once again, Mark from the second gen. Everybody have a good weekend, whatever's left of it. Hope you have a good, safe week, wherever you are. And uh, be well, be safe. 
And Zig, we are gonna use bog on this. All right, fellas, we're gonna we're gonna use bog. We're not gonna use bond though. It's bog from now on. Peace.